How about that uphill though? Nice. God damn. That booty. So we are mountain biking today in Dalak. We're back with our friends Colleen and Molly. And we already started. We're about a kilometer in. We're having some bike issues. Um, two of the bikes have already failed. One catastrophically and because the chain just completely broke off. The other one is just kind of like slipping every time we go up any kind of incline. So it's a little sketch. Hey. There is one animal. I went to a zoo once and there was only one animal in it. It was a dog. It was a shit zoo. Oh! <laughs> and we're back. Barely. I think we might be taking a I think we might be going in here. Look at these guys. Big old red bell pepper. Right there. The kingdom of flowers. This is one of just really small greenhouses. Because this is like one one hundreds because we have a huge hundreds greenhouses. Yeah. During during the years. Yeah. Yeah girl, get it. No season. Yeah girl. So this is actually kind of a rose farm. See those little baby roses growing right here. They're all over the place. Whoa, sweet. <laughs> this is awesome. Xin chào! The bus behind me. Ah, ah, fucking bus. Ah, ah, this is awesome. Vietnamese countryside is really cool. People are super friendly in the countryside too. Like everyone smiles at you. The only thing that sucks is there's trash everywhere, like always in Asia. Trash, 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 trash. <laughs> Look at that. What? All right, I think we've almost made it to our arrival. We're going to a coffee plantation. We're gonna try some poop coffee. I'll explain when I get there, but literally poop coffee. Meanwhile, in Vietnam. Traditional hand weaving, coffee, and coffee garden, I guess. Traditional coffee garden. Let's go drink some coffee. James also promised us that we would be drinking some rice wine, which I'm very excited about. Because I like wine, and I like rice, so I think I like them both. Right, Miles? Yep. She knows. She knows. This is a coffee bean. <clears throat> this is what you roast and have in your coffee. And Vietnam is the second largest yeah. producer. Producer. And sometimes I'm going to show with coffee. you guys about a shit coffee. You know, mm. yeah, it works. real shit. It's mm. not shops. It's the real shit. It's the real shit. Yeah, but are you, are you ready to drink shit? That coffee's the shit. Am I ready to drink shit? Coffee. Are you ready to drink oh, some I'm shit? Ready drink I'm ready. Let's, yeah, go. let's go. You see one? See? A lot yeah. of <laughs> <laughs> okay. You say my beard is shit. Many friends, many friends. Oh. So tell us what we got here, James. Uh, you know, this, uh, you know the weasel, the animal. Yeah. 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 This is from weasel. Weasel poof. Yeah. <laughs> That's weasel, weasel shit. shit. Well, weasel shit. Weasel shit. <laughs> because uh, I mean, in the past, the the story. I tell you about the story. They build the Indonesians. Yeah. The uh, the coffee farmer. Uh huh. Yeah, the coffee man. One day he come to his farmer and he saw something like this. Yeah. 
and he, and he collects it to make the coffee for you to drink. And wow, it's so amazing. It's special. I mean, better than the normal coffee. Better than normal. Yeah, and it just used to be the best. I mean, and used to be the most expensive coffees in the world. Really? Yeah. The weasel shit coffee. Yeah. Why? Why is it not the most expensive anymore? Because you know the enzyme inside the stomach of the weasel. Uh huh. Inside the stomach, to make oh. the coffee is I mean really perfect. It brings and, it out better. And the weasel, they eat that shit. No, they eat the coffee bean. They always choose the best bean. Wow. Not not all that bean on the trees. They're they, picky. They, yeah, they pick the best. So bean. they find the best bean. Yeah, and, and but they, they eat the the, the 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 bean like at the desert, you know. Mm -hmm. After they eat something else. Oh. They eat the natural. So they eat they eat like a mouse or something, and then yeah, they, they and then they go and, and eat this as like dessert. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's why. It makes and they can't so digest it, yeah. so that's why it comes out in clumps. Wow. Well, you know, it kind of looks like a they payday. They don't even chew it. They just doesn't it? it? Try it. Try it. Yeah. You know, so uh, I'll just try it. There's the star of the show. Natural always. That's the weasel. So the weasel we just saw, typically they eat the mocha bean. Oh my gosh, look at all these guys. Oh hi puppies. Hi, come here, come here. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Tell me about your shitty coffee. This coffee was listed as a weasel. It is um, what does it cherry weasel. Cherry weasel. <laughs> and what does it taste like? Very good. strong. They're so good. Very good. What does it smell like? I would say you make the photo, but... It does smell like shit. <laughs> it does not smell like shit. It smells awesome. Do you like coffee? Do you love you have a day with your girlfriends, you, you, you have to always drink the black milk. Alright, Molly's about to drink some condensed milk. Yeah, he's got a few I just wanted to gain a little more shot. weight on this trip. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, oh, it's so thick. <laughs> a lot of fun at the coffee plantation. Had a really good time. Beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful, right in the valley. Do I look really good right now? Oh yeah, how about me? What up? Uh, oh, yeah, boy, boy, yeah, yeah, skirt. Okay, <laughs> sorry, we're done. Avocado tree. Strange looking avocado tree. Uh, I'm kind of bummed to be leaving the plantation, the coffee plantation, because it's pretty awesome. But on to bigger and better things. <laughs> Head to the rice wine factory. Yeah, so just a short ride up from the um, coffee um, plantation. We are now at a rice wine factory. <laughs> so you can see the rice back there. And this is where they cook it. It smells so good in here. Rice wine is the. So that lid goes on top of here, and then the alcohol um, evaporates and goes up through it. It's more like. Okay, so as Brooke said, that is distilled, boiled off, up through that funnel right there, and up through the tube that goes up and through, and then that goes that way, through the tube, down, through the water, you can actually see the water smoking, and it goes through the water to cool, which is then condensed, and dropped down into this little funnel barrel right here which then goes into here and turns into, turns into that. Yeah. Oh, shit. And you drank it. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, that's cool. All right, so they actually make three different levels of the rice wine. Um, the first one is 65%, which is what we tried. It's very strong, but it's not like too burning, I guess. Is that how you say it? Um, the next one they put some water in, that's 45%. And the last one I think is like 30% more water in it. But it's, it's actually really good. And for a liter of it, how much is it? 10,000 dong, which is like 50 cents. Gosh, dang, we're getting some of that. We're getting some of that for karaoke night. You know. Komodo dragon. Just one or two cups.
we are walking into Elephant Falls. So we've got our nice little picnic lunch going. Tons of fruit that we cut up. Making some sandwiches. Mine's really good. And we're just looking out over this. I'm just gonna show you the name because I can't say it. <laughs> so, the male and female flies mate and they lay these little eggs. And yep, there's one laying the eggs. It's literally coming out of, coming out of the booty. And then the eggs Together, grow, it like makes this big the one. big one, and they one. turn into that. And then they eat and eat, and then they weave their silk, and they die inside. They're in there. And that's the circle of life of a silkworm. The circle of life! Get it. Yeah. 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 What do you remember? The very first night in September. So Ian. Preparing to cast into the fancy pond with his state-of-the-art fishing pole. Oh, did you see that form? Just a flick of the wrist. Look at that. He's really setting up for this one. He has laser focus. This is so authentic. <laughs> All right, well, we are headed back now to our hostel. Yep. Fishing didn't go too well, but other than that, we had a pretty great day. Awesome day. Thanks to James over there. He was a great host. And now we're ready to have a nice night. Do a little drinking, do a little karaoke. Karaoke. Maybe have a little of our rest wine. So, our friend from Israel, Nizam, is now part of the odds are game that this girl started and he is now about to eat this entire plate like of just greens without any hands or anything there's no hands all right three two one do it <laughs> <laughs> Well done, you're good, you're good. Really yeah. Yes. Well done, sir. Well done. We're going to 100 rooms. Feels like I'm in a cave. All right, we're just uh, making our way through this bar. You probably can't see much, but it's probably the coolest bar I've ever been in. Is this so cool? This is the coolest bar I've ever been This is the coolest bar I've ever been How does it feel? A few moments later. When the bar closes earlier than you expected. Yeah. Alright, so we just got on our city for bus to Dene and be on this thing for 16 hours. We got these fancy seats that lay down and we're riding the back of the bus. These are our views, they're actually bunk beds. So it should get interesting. <sighs> Brooke's super excited, I'm super like, fuck this already. <laughs> It'll be okay. Alright, I'm gonna take the camera back because Ian's being a Debbie Downer. But yeah, so uh, we're gonna take this to Dening and then we're gonna um, catch a bus there in the morning to Hoi An and spend the next few days there. I'm super excited.